CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Where's the hidden nuclear piece? Look carefully. There's going to be a very big surprise nuclear piece coming up. Now we're going to speed up the video here to show you. This is a very dense cataract in a 96-year-old patient. I don't know why he waited this long for cataract surgery. We'll take our time to chop the nucleus into many small pieces and emulsify them with phaco power modulations. We've recoated the corneal endothelium with dispersive viscoelastic and doing our best to protect those delicate endothelial cells. So here comes the remainder of the lens nucleus. Looks pretty good. Epinuclear shell comes out. Pretty happy. Time for cortex removal. So let's get that IA probe in hand. We'll put that inside the eye and let's clean this up. And I want to speed up the video and just get to the IOL insertion because that's where we see the surprise. Now let's fill the capsule bag with the cohesive viscoelastic. Now we're showing the video in real time. Here comes the lens, a single piece acrylic lens, inserting it in the eye, nice and easy, delivering it, delivering it, going in the capsule bag. That looks pretty good. Watch carefully. Place the optic and the haptics in the bag, nice and easy, and rotate this around. And if you haven't seen it already, the piece is just to the right of the main incision in the angle of the eye. And now as I put the eye probe in the eye, it'll dislodge that piece. We'll go under here, remove viscoelastic, and that piece will go from the angle of the eye being dislodged, watch carefully, and it'll go under the optic. Coming up, one, two, three, there it is. You got a huge piece of nucleus. Now what do I do? I can't push it through the IA probe. It doesn't want to come up. This is something I haven't seen before. So let's bring the piece up by holding it with vacuum. Now let me use the chopper in the second hand. Let's get that second instrument here. We'll lift up the optic and bring this piece back into the anterior chamber. There it is. Now it's still too dense of a piece that I can't aspirate it through the IA port. So we'll leave it in the eye and I'll have our technician switch back to the phaco probe, as crazy as it sounds. And she's looking at me like, why do you want the phaco probe? And I said, look at the monitor. She says, oh, that's a surprise piece. So we can try just aspirate it out or wash it out or flush it out, but it's a relatively large piece. It's not going to come out that easily. So the easiest move here is actually to go back in with the phaco probe. So we can't irrigate it out. The phaco probe is now being set up by my technician. It has to be reprimed, everything else, placing it back inside the eye. This last piece of nucleus will be emulsified very easily with the probe. Here it is, a little bit of vacuum, and it goes down quite nicely, and we're done with that. So, interesting case. Remember, in a patient like this, he's 96 years old. There's a lot of Arcus senellus. And especially with a blue iris, you can have a piece of nucleus hidden in the angle of the eye. And because of the light-colored iris and the Arcus senellus, it's almost completely invisible. So we want to use the benefit of high flow and even angle sweep like this to make sure we removed all these pieces. I'm happy to say the patient had a beautiful outcome and was very happy with the results. He said he just wished he didn't wait as long. Check out cataractcoach.com. It's so amazing. So much more than what you find here on YouTube. We've got playlists now. We've got a daily email list. There are figures, there are pictures, there's text that you just won't get here on YouTube. Check it out.